Right, good afternoon and thanks for clicking on to the Thursday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. This is the latest visible satellite imagery over the tops of our heads at the moment and you can see plenty of sunshine, northern England, much of Scotland, but we do have quite a lot of cloud cover across North Wales, Mid Wales, vast majority of Wales actually is cloudy and uh, you know a decent chunk of central and southern UK is in the cloud cover and outbreaks are in parts of Northern Ireland. Eastern Republic of Ireland is sea in cloudy conditions, but further west, it is somewhat warmer. Looking at the latest radar image of weather online as well, you can see here, this is where the outbreaks of rain is falling at the moment. You can see uh, just a few showers to speak about across Western Scotland. Uh, we've got some very beefy showers moving into Southeastern Northern Ireland. And uh, across parts of the, the Republic of Ireland, we've got some lively showers, probably embedded thunderstorms within that as well. Look at most of Wales and the South Midlands. We're seeing some fairly heavy and persistent rain at this moment in time. And it's all courtesy of an area of low pressure, not that far to the east, southeast of the UK at the moment here, that is causing the issues. We've got a little trough here. We are essentially got the trough underneath the high and uh, we've got an area of low pressure over the near continent at the moment. That is spreading uh, the heavy rain in. We've got this kind of boundary set up between the low to the south and the high to the north. In the sunshine, in the shelter, we've got uh, some reasonably warm temperatures, but uh, in that breeze, especially uh, an exposure to the North Sea, for example, we do have a uh, fairly subdued temperatures for uh, the middle portions of May. Very, very unsettled conditions across much of Northern Iberia, France, central areas of Europe at this moment in time also. This is the um, the upper air pattern for the next seven days. So you can see here the strong ridge of high pressure across the north. We've got the, the negative centered over Southern Biscay at the moment. That is kind of feeding a lot of unsettled weather, especially across central and Southern UK at this moment in time. Further north, we've got higher pressure, but we've got a distinct easterly airflow at the moment, courtesy of uh, this upper air, uh, upper air orientation uh, of the pattern. Now, this is uh, obviously off the ECMWF, and uh, as we play through the next several days and into the weekend here, we're going to see that frontal boundary continue to activate showers, longer spells of rain, embedded thunderstorms, especially with the incoming solar radiation at this time of the year we spark that energy within the atmosphere and we'll have some fairly lively outbreaks of rain associated with that now as we continue to play through into the course of tomorrow we still maintain that sunshine and showers regime we're in a bit of a no man's land at the moment as you can see you're not really truly under a proper ridge of high pressure and we're never really that far away from an area of low pressure over the netherlands and belgium as well so you can see the general idea. We're going to maintain the shower uh, regime through Friday and into Saturday. And then what we should start to see is heights rise as we move into Sunday. Now, winds are going to turn more northwestly or northeasterly, should I say. And therefore, we will continue to see plenty of low cloud, mist, foggy conditions, especially during the overnight period. But even during the daytime, that uh, mist and low cloud may be uh, stubborn to, to burn off during the course of Friday and Saturday. So therefore, we have subdued temperatures here. Further south and west, you are going to be talking about temperatures into the low 20s over the next several days here. As we play into the latter half of the weekend, we lose that shower activity as heights come up somewhat. And then as we move into the early portions of next week, we are keeping an eye on an area of low pressure that is going to be moving in from uh, the near continent that is going to spread some fairly heavy and persistent rain we may increase winds also here now this is going slightly against what i said a few days ago with regards to higher pressure building but you notice here very quickly we start to see heights coming up and therefore we will start to see a uh, back to almost what we've got at the moment uh, a rather subdued rather stuck in the middle of weather systems, neither high pressure nor low pressure. So it's a rather monotonous uh, limp towards early summer 2024. Speaking of summer 2024, I am now beginning the write up for the summer forecast. So uh, that is now starting to get built uh, and it will be obviously released next Sunday. So a week on Sunday, the 26th 
As I've already said, at 4 p.m. The, the summer of 2024, official forecast will be released. So looking at finally the uh, the precipitation of the CFSV2 for the next seven days. So we've got the average conditions in terms of rainfall across the southeast, drier than average elsewhere across the UK, very wet across the near continent and central Europe. We've got a lot of rain thanks to low pressure dominating. Higher pressure means we've got drier conditions across the north and across the bulk of the UK. We don't have a tremendous amount of rain to speak about. Temperature wise, no surprise, we've got warmer than average conditions with the exceptions of along the east coast. Into week two, warmer than average. This is the upper air pattern for week two. So this takes us out to the 30th of May. And you can see that the pressure builds somewhat over, uh, over our part of the world here. So that should suppress rainfall as we move uh, towards the uh, beginnings of June. And speaking of the beginnings of June, it looks as if the CFSV2, at least the latest run, is indicating a dry beginning to summer 2024. In terms of temperature anomaly here, well, it's warmer than average. Uh, no real surprise there. But uh, like I've already said, all oh, throughout the course of this week, plenty of things coming up this weekend. Weather Talk Episode 3 and the live stream coming up at uh, 4 o'clock on Sunday afternoon as well. So like, share and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. See you tomorrow with more. Bye for now.